Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today I am doing a series review for The Devil in Ohio, currently on Netflix. It is eight episodes long. It stars Emily Deschanel, Sam Jaeger, Geraldo Celosco, and Madeline Arthur. It's based on a novel inspired by true events. When a psychiatrist shelters a mysterious cult escapee, her world is turned upside down as the girl's arrival threatens to tear her own family apart. And I think it's it was a very interesting look at trauma. So what attracted me to this is that I find cults slightly interesting. Um, not in like a join them kind of way, just like I like to understand how the dynamics work. And that's what I came for. And every episode, you do get some more answers of what this cult does, what they believe in, what's going on, where are they? It's like a whole thing. So you do get answers as you get along. It's not like an all at once kind of thing. And you get answers as the rest of the characters also get answers. So the girl who escaped, her name is May. And there are a lot of different trauma triggers of in just like the everyday environment. So I also find that interesting, just kind of seeing how different things trigger her, her trying to fit into this family that feels like a safe space for her. Her way of adapting is kind of like copying what everyone else is doing. So again, found that interesting because it wasn't only of just like what she wore, what she looked like, but she also kind of changed her language to be more similar to her new like sister the series does explore the family dynamic and how it changes as they have this new like foster child coming in but in a bigger sense it really explores how the mother has this like savior complex and is trying to save this girl and in doing so she's kind of ignoring the rest of her children there is some sort of trauma bonding that goes on with her and may a lot of it was very predictable but it did give some like horror kind of themes definitely some true crime but what i liked which wasn't predictable is how the rest of the family so not me and not the mom but everyone else the dad and the girls were just like okay something weird is going on here and we need to remove ourselves from this situation like this isn't okay boundaries like things are happening okay i like this shifts the entire perspective of how the series ends because they're just like no there's something wrong and if you don't want to see it mom lady then that's on you. There's also notes of teenage angst. There's a little something for everyone in this series. It's a little cheesy. Overall, not bad. So for rating, I give Devil in Ohio a four. So good. Found it interesting, really liked it. They set it up where it could even have a season two. I am here for it if they do. Oh, The Devil in Ohio, have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below, and if you like my video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out my merch shop down below. So, until next time, friends. Bye.